we're going to be looking at the XPED Mega Mac 10. This is the long and wide version. They've got a regular size and they've got a duo that's even bigger. Hello and welcome to the Overland Calling on-site test facility, otherwise known as my backyard. This is an unboxing video. I've been using this thing for the last year. I just want to tie up a quick couple video items and one of the things I never filmed was an actual intro. Stick through to the end or just skip there, there's chapter markers. We've got what I consider my best piece of advice that I can give on this thing right there at the end. Let's get into it. I travel around in all kinds of different environments, do a lot of camping, and with that, I get to really put gear to the test. I'm not just here to sell you crap. Now I'll put affiliate links on some of the stuff, and I truly do appreciate it if you choose to use those links. But that's not what this is about. This is about me testing things out and helping you make a better decision to see if it's going to be a good fit for you. So, what do I sleep on? When I have my dog Zeus with me, I don't sleep in the tent because he doesn't like to be alone. So, I sleep down in the awning area. However, I'm still pretty dang comfortable. This is the XPED Mega Mat. Purchased it at REI. Comes with a very easy to use bag. It is somewhat self-inflating. It takes it a while. It's got two nozzles here, one for in, one for out. Open up the in. It's got a little little tab here. I use that and put it into the valve itself to just make sure it stays nice and open. And then I just open it up and give it a while to self-inflate. It's not going to be super quick. If you need it to inflate quicker, you can use a uh, air pump. I think I do have one. I don't know, probably costs $15 from Walmart. Works pretty well. I've only used it a couple times. Most times I just let it uh, self-inflate by itself. It's extremely warm the, with a good R value. And I bought the extra wide because I didn't want to worry about falling off of it. Um, my dog Zeus has crawled up on it. He doesn't do it a lot, but uh, he hasn't poked any holes in it. Um, it's been very durable. I would definitely recommend it. I sleep like a baby. In addition to the mat, you also get this very strange item here. A nozzle here strange hole in the top here what the heck is it well it's an air pump believe it or not yeah so this fitting right here is going to go right into the inlet valve snaps in place air is going to of course go out into the mattress and this hole here turns out that's so the air can get in so after you decompress it sucks back up. Let's take a look at it in action. It is going to take quite a while if you're inflating this all the way from being down. But what I usually do is I'll just set it up, let it fill on its own, and it fills up most of the way. So I'll just finish it off with this, maybe about 10, 15 pumps, and it's good to go. So one of the things that always happen with me is I just, I pumped it up too much. It's kind of hard to tell when you're not laying on it, but you get on there, it's just way too hard. That's all right. There's an easy fix for that. Pop open the air in valve, not the out. See that little green tab there? Let's push that in. Let the air out till it feels comfortable. When you're done, pop it back in. From my experience with my mattress, I did not need to over inflate it because it was gonna lose air during the night or anything like that. I slept on it five nights straight. It retained air the entire five nights. Fabric on this thing, it's pretty nice. It's, it's actually soft. Um, what does it feel like to sleep directly on it? I have no idea. I put a little blanket down each time just to kind of create some separation from me and it. But, I mean, it's not bad right now. No idea what it's like to sleep on though. I always put a little protective cover over it because I have a 90 pound Rottweiler that I'm not taking the chance while I'm out sleeping. If he's going to decide he wants to hop on it in the middle of the night, 
and try and pop a hole in it. So, how does this thing compare to the competition? Yeah, I have no idea. This is the only camping air mattress I've ever owned. I'll tell you, it's a heck of a lot better than those little quarter inch foam mats though. I weigh about 185 and I'm a devoted side sleeper. I don't bottom out on this thing, not even close. Whether I'm sleeping on my side, on my back, or on my stomach. So that was important to me. I didn't really want to feel the sharp rocks underneath me. I've done that enough of my life. I'm good. I'll take riding in comfort any day of the week. All right, so you're ready for the best bit of advice, my golden nugget of information. It's not go to the link in the description and order it off Amazon. I mean, you can do that if you want. I'll put the link in there. But I got this at REI, and guess what they let me do? Exactly what you're looking at right now. I actually got to lay on the thing and see if I liked it. So if you've got an REI or another you know, outdoor warehouse that has these mattresses that allow you to go in and touch them, feel them, and check them out, hey, do that. I know my videos are hopefully helpful, but they're not gonna be seeing it in person. Now to the pro-con analysis. So pro number one, this sucker's got a five-year warranty. I've never used it, so I don't know if it works or not, but the fact that they're willing to stand behind it for five years, I think that's pretty solid. Number two, super comfy, even for a side sleeper. Number three, quality valves and fabric. I mean, it just works well, and it hasn't ever failed me. Number four, it's self-inflating, and the hand pump is simple and quiet. Number five, it holds air for at least five days straight. Number six, the bag is super easy to use. I'm not playing origami trying to get it back in this thing. It's not all good. Let's get to the cons. Number one con, cost. This thing is expensive. You're going to pay for the comfort here. Number two, even when it's packed up nice and tight as you can get it, it takes up some space. And number three, rolling it up does take some effort. It's not like you just hit a button and bam, it's all packed up. All right, that's going to bring this to a wrap. I know I'm not the best for all the techs and specs, and that's not what this video is really about. This video is more for me to convey my experience with it and how well it's worked for me over the 90 plus nights that I've been sleeping on it. I hope it helps you out making your decision, whichever way you go. If nothing else, I hope I actually go to a store and actually try these different mats out. See them in person. I don't care how good the video is, it's never as good as actually getting out there and seeing it for yourself. And with that, I'm going to bring this to a close. Thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, notifications, all that good jazz. Until next time, enjoy the ride.